Hey, welcome to this Stair Tailored. I'm Sarah Powell from the University of Texas at Austin. And right now we're focused on word problem instruction and we're thinking about the equal groups schema. So what is a schema? A schema refers to the structure or the underlying foundation of a word problem. And for additive word problems, we have three schemas, total difference and change. And now we're focused on one of the multiplicative schemas, the equal group schema. There are two other multiplicative schemas that you can find uh, more about in some of the other stair tailored uh, sessions. So in an equal groups problem, we have groups and there's an equal number in each of those groups. So your classic equal group story is this. Mark has two bags of apples. There are six apples in each bag. How many apples does Mark have altogether? So I could draw this for students to actually say, well, Mark has two bags, and then there are six apples in each. So I can draw my apples super quick here. All right, they kind of look like hearts, but they are meant to be apples. And so the question is, well, how many apples does Mark have altogether? So I could count uh, individually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I could also count, skip count six, 12 or count them in pairs of two, lots of different ways to figure out the product, but you can see I have two different groups and then there's the same number, an equal number of apples in each of those groups. Now we have other, other equal groups stories. So look at this story right here. I'll go ahead and leave my picture there for just a few minutes. Mark has 12 apples and he wants to share them equally among two friends. How many apples will each friend receive? So here I could think I've got 12 apples this friend receives an apple, some apples. This friend receives some apples. There are my two friends. How many apples does each friend receive? Well, each friend is going to receive six apples. And this is also an equal group story. Mark has 12 apples. He puts them into bags containing six apples each, just like our drawing. How many bags did Mark use? Well, then here I can see Mark used one, two bags. So all of these are equal group stories. Sometimes in equal groups, you're figuring out the product, like this story here. Sometimes in equal group stories, you're figuring out the number in each group. And sometimes in equal group stories, you're figuring out the number of groups that you are going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and erase my amazing drawing here because I wanna talk about the equal groups equation and equal groups graphic organizer. So once we realize a problem is an equal group story, it's really helpful to use a, an equation like this. So here we have the groups times the number in each group equals the P, product. Or you could also use a graphic organizer. Uh, students really uh, benefit from having some type of structure for setting up the word problem, and an equation or graphic organizer can help students with this task. What's also helpful is having prompts to help students focus in on, well, is this actually an equal group story? So here our uh, prompt is, are there groups? And I like to hold out my hand. It's got some stuff in it right now. I'll hide my stuff, there we go. Um, are there groups with an equal number in each group? So I kind of just like to like dip my hand in my separate groups there to show that I'm having an equal number in each of those groups. So let's think about that prompt as we solve this word problem here. So I see a word problem, uh, and that means I'm going to use an attack strategy. That attack strategy just helps me work through the word problem there. And the attack strategy that I'm going to use today is UPS check. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here, and that's going to help me remember the four things that I need to do to set up and solve this word problem. I understand the problem by reading it. Mrs. Rodriguez ordered 35 boxes of granola bars. Each box contained 24 granola bars. What is the total number of granola bars Mrs. Rodriguez ordered? So what are we focused on in this story? I have to focus on the granola bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and underline granola bars just like that so I can focus on the numbers that deal with things related to the granola bars. I've got an understanding of the problem. Now I need to make a plan. I could ask, is this a problem where we have groups? with an equal number in each group. And it is an equal group story because I have these boxes of granola bars and there's the same or equal number in each of those. So I'm gonna solve this as an equal groups story. So I'm gonna write my equal groups equation here, groups times the number in each group equals the product. That's gonna help me organize the word problem information. Now it's time to set up and solve it. So let's go back and reread and find the numbers we need to solve the problem. 
Mrs. Rodriguez ordered 35 boxes of granola bars. Well, does 35 tell us about the groups, the number in each group, or the product? Here, 35 tells us about the groups. We have 35 separate boxes or separate groups. So I write 35 under the G for groups. Each box contained 24 granola bars. 24, we're gonna use that. Does that tell us about the groups, the number in each group, or the product? Well, 24 tells us how many granola bars we had in each of those boxes. So that represents the N, or the number in each group. And our job here is to figure out the product. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write in my multiplication sign and my equal sign, and now it's time to do some math. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do 35 times 24. And there's lots of different ways we could do this. We could use a traditional algorithm. You could use partial products. You could use the area model. You could lattice multiplication. Uh, I'm just gonna use the traditional algorithm here today. Make sure that I um, do my math correctly. All right, and I'm gonna add these numbers together. So, there's my eight. How many granola bars did Mrs. Rodriguez order all together? She ordered 840, and remember, I always wanna put a nice label on my numerical answer, so I'm gonna put granola bars right here, okay, with my squeaky pink marker. So, if I asked, what's the total number of granola bars that Mrs. Rodriguez ordered? She ordered 840 granola bars. We've solved the problem, now it's time to check the work. I could do 840 divided by 24, I could do 840 divided by 35. Lots of different ways to check the work. It's just important that you do check your work. So you can see in this equal groups problem, we took our attack strategy and combined it with the equal groups schema to help us set up and solve this problem. Now I'll be right back to solve another equal groups story. Okay, so let's look at this equal groups problem. Well, I know it's an equal groups problem because it's labeled up there at the top, but let's figure out how we know it's an equal groups problem. First, I see a mix of numbers and words, so I'm going to use my attack strategy. And I'm gonna write it right here to help me remember the steps to the attack strategy. I'm going to understand the problem by reading it. Juno bought 24 light bulbs. The light bulbs come in packs of four. How many packs of light bulbs did Juno buy? So what do I have to think about in this story? I have to think about the packs, and if I also wanted to underline light bulbs, you're welcome to do that. Remember, you don't want to underline more than a very few things. But I'm focusing in on how many packs of light bulbs she bought. So I've got an understanding of the problem. Now I need to make a plan. Is this an equal groups problem where we have groups with an equal number in each group? Well, yeah, it is, because I've got these packs and there's light bulbs in them and the same number of light bulbs in each pack. So I'm going to use my equal groups graphic organizer here to help me solve this problem. So I'm going to do square times a circle equals a triangle, or if I'm thinking about that, groups times the number in each group for the product. All right, my plan is to solve this as an equal groups problem. So let's go ahead and plug in our information. Juno bought 24 light bulbs. So does 24 tell me about the groups, the number within each group, or the product? Well, 24 tells me about how many she has in all, or the product, so I'm gonna write that there in my triangle. Now the light bulbs come in packs of four. So does four tell me about the number of groups, or does it tell me how many are in each group? Well, it actually tells me the number within each group, because there's four in each pack, so there I know the number in each group. And our job here, how many packs or how many groups? Now how could I solve this problem? Some students may think like, oh, six times four is 24. They just solve it quickly like that. Other students may do 24 divided by four. 24 divided by four is six. And what would be a good label for six? Well, she bought six packs. So I'll go ahead and write that right there. So I've solved the problem and now I need to check my work. Six times four is 24. We've got a reasonable answer on our hands. So we used our attack strategy and our equal group schema to solve this equal groups problem. I hope you'll tune into some of the other stair tailoreds where you see the other schemas in play with different types of word problems.